The QL30MT and QL60MT are textile monochrome high-speed thermal transfer printers that are designed to print perfectly on textile material. The cutter and stacker is a modular accessory that can be attached to the QL30MT or the QL60MT in order to cut and stack printed material. This tutorial will show you how to attach and operate the cutter stacker. First, make sure all the parts are included. You should have the base frame, a roll of material, an ink ribbon, the table, the safety covers, and the cutter stacker. Now, power off the printer. Start by placing the base frame of the stacker on a flat surface. Place the printer on top of the base frame, making sure that the feet of the printer are placed in the holes of the base frame. Insert the pins of the cutter stacker into the holes on the printer. Press the cutter stacker against the printer so the plug of the cutter stacker can be connected to the peripheral port on the printer. Secure the cutter stacker with the screw. Open the printer's cover and remove the included Allen key. Start by opening the cover on the cutter stacker. Loosen the four screws to adjust both side plates on the cutter stacker. It will take about two or three turns to loosen the screws. Adjust the side plates on each side, equal to the media width, using the scale on the cutter stacker. The QL30MT and QL60MT are center aligned, so make sure the adjustments are equal on both sides. Use the edges of the side plates as pointers. Tighten the screws to secure the side plates. Now you're ready to mount the table. Loosely screw the nuts found in the delivery contents onto the threaded pins. Insert the threaded pins of the table into the holes of the retainer. Tighten the nuts. Move the table to the printer until it stops. Now you can install the safety covers. Note that the safety covers come with the table and are sized depending on the size of the table. Safety covers are not needed if the tag width is more than 92 millimeters. Place the hooks of the safety covers into the slots and slide them to the front so they are aligned with the hole in the side plate. Place the screws into the holes of the side plate and tighten. The Allen key can now be placed back inside the printer. Now, install your roll of material onto the roll holder. Lift the printhead. Unlock and remove the margin stop, also called the outer flange. Load the roll of material onto the roll holder, and then insert and lock the margin stop, or outer flange. Now open the separator. Grasp the tag and feed it under the printhead. Feed the material through the front of the printer and through the cutter stacker. Close the cutter stacker and the separator. Turn the printer back on. The cutting symbol will display on the touchscreen indicating that the cutter stacker is installed correctly. Adjust the sensor to detect the material. Adjust the media guide. Now you can load the ribbon. Load the ribbon onto the ribbon holder. The ribbon roll should be placed in the center of the ribbon holder according to the measurements printed on it. Feed the ribbon through the printer and tighten it.
close the print head. Now you can close the cover. On your computer, enter the size of the material into the driver settings. Set the correct sensor type and enable the cutting option. The sensor type and cutter options are located in the Advanced Setup tab. Send a print job to the printer from the CQL Pro software. You successfully loaded the media into your printer, installed the cutter, and are ready to start printing your tags. For more tech support videos, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com/quicklabel.